In order to start learning how to work in 3D, let's first take a look at our 3D viewport and see what we can find in it. The first thing that I notice when I look at our 3D viewport is this cube in the center. We also have a circle up here in the upper right. We have this weird pyramid shaped object on the left. We have this gigantic grid on the ground. We have this crosshair in the very center of our viewport. And also down here in the left, we have this little 3D axis. So let's go ahead and talk about all of these and what functions they serve. We'll start by talking about the three basic elements you'll find in any 3D scene. A mesh, a lamp, and a camera. A mesh is any sort of 3D model or 3D geometry. In our 3D viewport, this is represented by the cube in the center, because a cube is a 3D model. The next item on the list is a lamp. A lamp is something that brings light into your scene, and you can imagine it as a virtual light bulb. In this case, our lamp is this circle up here in the upper right. The last of our basic objects is a camera. And a camera is kind of just like the light bulb, except, you know, the camera counterpart. You can imagine it as just a virtual camera. And this camera is this weird pyramid-shaped object that we see over here on the left. So our three basic objects are a mesh, a lamp, and a camera. And you will find all three of these objects in every single 3D scene that you ever make. Before we get too far along here, I do want to define the word object. In the real world, an object is pretty much anything you could possibly think of. For example, this laptop is an object. This table is an object. I am an object. Whereas in Blender, and in its most basic definition, an object can be viewed as anything that you can interact with within the 3D viewport. So from now on, if I do reference an object, know I'm talking about something that can be positioned, rotated, or scaled within the 3D viewport. Awesome, so now that we have the basic 3D objects out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things that I referenced earlier in this video. We'll start with this crosshair in the center of our 3D viewport. This is called our 3D cursor, and a 3D cursor is not an object in and of itself, but it is a tool that we can use to position and manipulate other objects. Additionally, we have this grid that takes up the majority of our 3D viewport. This grid is called the grid floor, and it's not an object either. Its function is to allow us to have a reference for scaling things, so that if we're modeling or creating a scene, everything can be spread out evenly and we don't have awkwardly sized objects. Finally, we have this 3D axis down on the lower left. And just like the other two, this is not an object either. This just helps us orient ourselves in case our camera positioning gets a little bit weird or we're not able to see the 3D axes displayed on our grid floor. So to review, we have our three basic objects, a mesh, a lamp, and a camera. And we have our three really helpful tools. We have the 3D cursor, we have the grid floor, and we have the 3D axis down in the lower left. 